Hello group number one, welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what do men find beautiful about you. So whoever is watching, you can also flip the messages. Um, it doesn't matter what your gender is, what your preference is. Um, I'm open to everyone. This channel is for every person out there, no matter, you know, your preference. So you can obviously change the message according to your own situation. So keep that in mind. So, but I'm going to focus more so on men finding your qualities attractive because I think more than 90% of the people who watch my video are female. So, uh, that's how I'm going to speak. But please um, understand that uh, this is an all-inclusive reading. So, these are some oracles I've pulled. These are some tarot I've pulled. I'm going to take a look at these cards later on in the reading. I'm going to start out with the oracles. So let's begin. The first card you got, this is actually a tarot deck, which I like to use just to pull one card, uh, just to get a hint of what's going on and also to see if the card shows up again uh, with the other pile, sorry, other deck. And it did. You see, that's the first card you got. So Hierophant came out twice for you, group number one. Some of you could have Taurus placements. But what this is making me think is... Uh, of a person who's very spiritual so men could notice that you're very spiritual there's um you know this uh, illustrator or who, whoever this person is who came up with this deck uh, this is the tarot deck this is the back and this is an oracle deck they've created um and on the oracle deck it's all about animals but i find it interesting on how the tarot deck the certain cards who do have animals on them so i thought you know what i was looking at the bat i thought let me just look up the crow as well because uh, they have crow in this deck as well so for you you got the crow and the bat so there's obviously um, a quality that we see here with the air element coming through with uh, birds which is connected to air element and it's also ruled over by mercury because mercury is uh, rules over birds so I feel like uh, there's definitely something about your speech that is striking people. Men could find your uh, speech very beautiful. And we also see with the beak open, it's almost as if the crow is saying something. So definitely your voice matters. People pay attention to what you say. And by the way, I might not uh, say it again and again that this is what's beautiful about you. This is what's beautiful about you. But all the qualities I'm going to be mentioning, they've come out in this reading because these are the qualities that men tend to notice and they like about you. So keep that in mind. I might not repeat myself. So don't get confused. You might feel like, oh, I'm just reading your energy. But no, this is how um, men see you. And these are the qualities they like. So with the crow, I feel like there's something about the wisdom that you speak because the crow was talking about psychic abilities and a person who has higher knowledge, wisdom. Uh, and actually crows are very intelligent. So I think uh, it's your... Uh, because there's one card here, Siren. This card usually is connected with beauty. Let me just set it down here. So um, you could be someone who's very beautiful and your men are attracted towards you because of your looks. But once they uh, kind of hear your voice, hear your opinion on things, they notice that there's this completely different side to you that they didn't expect. And they're very impressed by because this crow card specifically is talking about, first of all, your voice, the beauty of your voice. But more so than that, it's talking about spirituality, psychic abilities, a person who has higher knowledge, higher wisdom. There's something striking about you. We see this lightning. It's like they were not expecting this. You know, when they spoke to you, group number one, when men speak to you, they're really surprised. They're like, wow, this person's completely different than what I imagined they would be like. So you have this knowledge and obviously you could be so pretty that people tend to, you know, there is this stereotype that the more beautiful you are, the more dumber you will be. You're not going to be as intelligent. So... Uh, crows are connected with intelligence they are natural pro problem solvers and they're very intelligent so i feel like there's something about you where you kind of unlock some sort of a wisdom um in the other person and they're really i think pe men usually might not uh, get that impressed 
by women's knowledge but there's something about you where they tend to notice and tend to listen to you maybe ask for your advice and whatever higher knowledge spiritual stuff spiritual knowledge that you try to impart on uh, men they actually imbibe that they're open to that usually we don't see that people call you know astrology and tarot and all of that very woo woo and they're like this is delusional delulu right but with you specifically there's something about your energy group number one where men tend tend not to do that they respect your knowledge and they're more open to it more receptive to it and here the bat bat was talking about the in-between time period before uh, the dawn and it's obviously uh, both the birds are nocturnal so they go out in the night time i feel like there's something about you uh, seeking wisdom seeking knowledge which is striking about you that men notice like this person is always on the lookout so this bad card talks about death and rebirth so um it's that energy of letting go and starting something fresh um the way that i perceive this energy because every card is going to come out you have to look at it in the context of the reading so in the context of men finding it beautiful the way that i see it you come into people's life and when you leave or you you are there let's say you've not left you're still there you change the person there is something about you where you create create an impact on the other person and um it's like they were a different person before you you kind of open up this uh, new wisdom new knowledge or something about you where you kind of strike the people with your spiritual abilities you might tell them about manifestation and you know they'll uh, become more open to that energy and then feel like you know what what group number one is saying there is some validity to it you know i i think i'm going to take them seriously there's something about you where you impact the person and they kind of change with this path it's about rebirth they kind of take a rebirth and they change their perspective on life on things especially spirituality because i'm picking up a lot of spiritual energy uh, with you group number 1 you could be the people who are into really heavily into tarot witchcraft astrology psychic abilities you might talk about your dreams you might talk about intuition you might talk about manifestation law of assumption law of attraction all these esoteric things and because it's such uh a big part of your everyday life you tend to talk about it to other people and they notice that about you and they learn something from you so it's kind of like you have this positive impact on other people as well coming back to the siren obviously we see a gemstone here so it talks about beauty of course siren is also there's a myth connected to this uh, story about how um, the, some sailors were sailing and the there were some mermaids or something i i don't exactly remember it and they would call out to the sailors to kind of distract them and they had to kind of you know uh, remember that i'm not going to look i'm not going to look otherwise they would turn to stone or something bad would happen to them but they couldn't resist the siren's call so it's about you creating such an impact that people cannot look away they tend to notice you and especially your wisdom earlier people might hear it men might hear it and they'll be like you know what this is all nonsense this is all crap but they kind of with experience they would realize you know what what they were saying group number 1 was saying it's actually true now i'm kind of changing my perspective so they have to pay attention to you this is also talking about your looks your personality where you're so striking in your appearance that people tend to notice and with this fish the tail we can see almost as if it's jumping back into the water it's talking about taking a deep dive you know taking people to the depths of uh, knowledge really is what i'm picking up here there's something about you where you're very deep you're very um you're not a superficial person there's so much depth to 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 you as well where people you know they get to know you and it's like they keep peeling layers there's so much to know about you and uh, you might also have a lot of things to talk about you have a lot of interest you're great at conversation with this uh, open beak i feel like you talk a lot and you people tend to listen as well they want to know more you know they want to talk to you we have money okay so a person of high value they consider you a person of high value this is something um this connection with you they value a lot men think this is a prized person i want them in my life and we have a gemstone here as well right 
so very beautiful very striking um, and you open up this uh, new door of information to men which they respect a lot we have aquarius so you're, so you are someone who does not who is not afraid of standing out you're unique you're different where should i keep it do you guys uh, do you guys like my setup today i did it on the sides instead of at the top so if anyone likes the setup please let me know in the comments i think i'm going to move them we have the ninth house which is also about higher knowledge wisdom travel so um you could be someone that people will even if you're from the same city you have the same background same upbringing you're someone who has uh, who almost comes across as a foreigner to other people because you embrace other people's culture you embrace higher knowledge there's something about you which is unique like i said with aquarius it says the radical a person who's completely different the way you speak the way you talk the way you carry yourself the way you live your life is different you know you stand out and you're not really bothered by other people's opinion you also are not looking for other people's approval in your life so uh, people notice you and they feel like they almost feel inspired they're like wow this person so authentic they're so real and they're living their life on their own terms i kind of feel inspired by them and uh, men could also feel like i want to know their secrets like what is what is it that group number 1 knows that makes them this way why are they so confident why are they so different unique they're not trying to get anyone's approval they're just different they have so much knowledge and they will be really uh, taken aback by your knowledge it's not just the spiritual stuff i think you could be someone who knows a lot about different cultures you might keep up with the news you might know about different countries and stuff like that different cultures because 9000 is long distance travel it's a person who's traveled a lot and earlier in the older times a person who traveled a lot was the one who was considered very intelligent if you stay in your own village in your own small town you didn't gain a lot of knowledge and uh, especially in our tradition i've from like centuries ago uh, there would be people who would come and travel to go to really the these universities um with very high knowledge so they were people who traveled from different countries because in their own country there was no such system so those people were really rever revered if that's how you say it so it's about seeking knowledge seeking wisdom seeking higher purpose in your life so you're someone who would impact men it's like they were drawn by your looks but then they uh are surprised by the depth of your knowledge is what i'm picking up we have emotional freedom number 13 so this is again uh, the number uh, if you add it up it adds up to a 4 which is the number connected with rahu in numerology and rahu is a obviously foreign person like i said you seem like a foreigner even though you're the same from the same city because you're just unique you're independent you're different you do things differently you could also be someone who has these radical ideas very uh, inventive ideas because usually we see inventions with rahu right internet that is also rahu and i think uh, albert einstein also had a strong rahu and he obviously you know we still talk about him to this day so rahu people tend to create waves that last lifetimes and they are the one who are trail blazers they are the one who are different who stand out who are unique who are different who are known for their mental capabilities so here we see emotional freedom this card talked about i read the guidebook it was something about we also see an owl which is again connected to spirituality intuition psychic abilities and with the rabbit bunny it's talking about fertility someone who's fertile with ideas very uh, creative person with the uh, it's not a unicorn i don't see a horn but with a uh, horse we can say a person with good vitality someone who's passionate someone who's hard working very um, focused on their work and an achiever so uh, going back to the card uh, this card talked about individuality so again very individual person very unique very different you're not trying to please anyone you're not trying to copy anyone i think people tend to copy you and you you're just different unique and very impressive sort of a person we have the king here so this is giving me strong 
uh, actually first of all with nakshatra it's giving me punarvasu with the stamp and magha and uh, magha is is the one uh, connected with the king and also uh, hasta hasta nakshatra because hasta is also connected to someone who's very intelligent and inventive and also funny witty uh, but coming back to this king energy king archetype that we have here it talks about a person who's again leader you know you don't really follow others people tend to follow you and it's also about uh, getting your approval i think people are seeking your approval group number one especially men they could feel like if this person is impressed by me that means i'm really something and you could also inspire men to become more masculine because this is a masculine energy uh, men might feel like okay i need to show up right for this person if i want to impress them they're gonna have high standards the uh, group number one has boundaries they don't really date any you know any person they have to be really impressed so you kind of uh, invoke this uh, masculinity in men where they feel like they have to tap into their masculine energy to attract your feminine side and also they just feel inspired to become better because you're you could be an overachiever you could be someone who's doing really well so uh, men tend to feel very inspired by you and they feel like they have to kind of find a purpose so that they can fit into your life because you are just so independent self sufficient and a force to be reckoned with that they kind of have to you you know be on their a game that's what i'm picking up so far let's look at the tarot quickly we have hierophant again because hierophant is connected with spiritual wisdom that's why i was talking about uh, uh you have all this wisdom that you kind of open up men to which they were not earlier open to receptive to or they kind of wrote it off as uh, something delusional or whatever but with you it's like they feel this psychic connection they feel there's something will something valid about what you're saying you know and uh, i don't know they feel this connection it's also about commitment K coming up twice it's like men want to feel like uh, they want to commit to you especially men who usually don't commit those men could actually be interested in you because they feel like if i get group number 1 they're the prize this is the one i've been waiting for this is the one i want to lock down you know we had the key so there's something about you where men want to commit and they also feel like they have to be committed to you uh to kind of impress you to really get that nod otherwise you will not be impressed we have lovers again so Uh, that strong desire for you that strong connection they feel with you it's something beyond the senses it's not just about the looks or the way you uh um i don't know speak talk whatever it's not just external it's something internal that they feel with you and also we see the beauty in the beast so again men feeling like they're not uh on par with you they're not on the same level they have to it's like you'll take pity on them and <laughs> take them but something about you where they feel like i'm not on this person's level you know they can have anyone but there's still that desire to you know connect with you i feel and gemini energy again we had all this mercury we have five of swords so this came out in conjunction with these cards i feel like you're someone who people would put on a pedestal we see this person is higher up the uh, sort of the king archetype also like you could be a heartbreaker this is how men perceive you like there's something about you you could be a heartbreaker you could be someone who gets a lot of attention and you will not easily say yes to someone you know they really have to show up right they really have to impress you and also you don't compromise on your moral standards on your boundaries so you're someone who will quickly just turn the person away and be like hey i don't put up with this nonsense so you're someone uh, men feel like they have to show up right but also they like that about you because you have high standards so you feel like a prize to them you have six of wands again they uh, look at you as an overachiever they look at you as someone who's in the public eye that everyone is impressed by you could also have a lot of admirers so you're like a prized possession so getting your approval getting that uh, stamp of approval from you getting to date you it's it's a big deal it feels like they've achieved something we have strength and the devil these came out together you could also attract a lot of people who are physically very attracted to you with the siren energy as well you could be also a person who has high self control so 
because you get all these offers you don't really um date around even though because you get a lot of high uh, these uh, attention these offers so it's again something that men find uh, attractive about you because uh, you have standards like i said and you're not looking for attention i feel like that's the energy i'm picking up it's like someone comes up to you they do all these gestures they give you compliments but you're not impressed because you can see right through the people you can see their intentions and you can uh, really uh, figure out okay this person's for me this person's um does not have good intentions and you have control you have self control you're disciplined there's something about you where uh just as uh, your character the kind of person you are is very impressive yeah and you don't get tempted easily is what i'm picking up and there's a lot of uh this physical attractiveness that's coming through a lot of people trying to throw themselves at you something about that is coming through uh people might even misread you they might have this perception of you that this person is going to be like a wild child or something uh, i don't know something along those lines but once they get to know you they realize you're someone completely different so that's the reading for you group number 1 let me know if this resonated with you i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed the reading please leave your feedback if you have any um video ideas ideas you can also tell me and uh, all the links will be in the description if you want to book a reading with me so i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one hello group number 2 welcome to today's reading today we're doing what do men find beautiful about you this is an all inclusive reading i am open to anyone who's watching the reading so if you're a male you can flip the energies around and take it as what do women find beautiful about you so you can change the messages according to your own situation fit them according to your life circumstances and know that uh, you know there are no prejudices this you know um, it's not just restricted to one type of channel viewer so keep that in mind also i want to say that um i've pulled the cards and i'm going to talk about um you primarily your qualities uh, the kind of person you are i'm going to pick up on your traits so don't think if i'm not saying this is what men find beautiful about you it's not the part of the reading right because i might not repeat myself but whatever i'm picking up whatever messages that have come through today through the cards these are the qualities that uh, people like about you okay so keep that in mind i might not repeat myself these are the tarot cards i've already pulled so i'm going to set them aside take a look at those later in the reading i'm going to start with your oracle so the first card you got is this son of cups and uh, this is knight of cups with this swan imagery in the back there's something about your energy which is very gentle with the swan and obviously swan is a symbol for beauty it's also uh, connected with purity purity of soul and character i feel like there's something about you where people uh, there's peace and harmony around you and there's this energy of uh, i feel like people are drawn towards your beauty men are drawn towards your beauty how good looking you are and also just your vibe your energy it's very calm peaceful serene there's something about you where it's easy to connect it's easy to talk to you you could be someone who's very expressive about your emotions you could be a good flirt also and uh, this is the knight of cups with, who is good with expressing their emotions so i feel like uh you're someone who's comfortable with vulnerability you're comfortable with talking about emotions you uh you feel things and you express your emotions and i think you could even attract a lot of people who are less expressive because they are drawn towards your energy and they kind of feel inspired by you they feel comfortable in your energy because you kind of balance them out so i'm also picking up some temperance energy with this pile so definitely it's your beauty that draws people in and also your um your whole energy or your whole um the way you express your emotions that's what i'm picking up how you express emotions you're comfortable um we're talking about your feelings and it's something that men admire about you we have the fire ant 
and you could be also someone who takes the initiative i think if you like someone you would go up to them and talk to them something about being very open is also i'm getting and usually swans are connected with soulmate energy so a lot of men in your life even the ones that you're friends with they could feel a deep connection with you they feel very understood by you and there's a a comfortableness there's a feeling of uh, harmony there's a feeling of almost like a family there's something about you where you feel like a soul family member even the ones that are not uh, like physically interested in you or anything like that no romantic interest still uh, your friends could also feel like a strong connection with you that's what i'm getting with the fire ant this is fire energy so we have mix of water and fire so far i feel like you're a dynamic person you know you're uh, you're also fiery so you feel things because you have these emotions you also feel things you might get upset over things you might get frustrated you might express your emotions like i said you're good with expressing you know you're very expressive so if anything hurts you you talk about it you bring it up you might even argue i feel like there's a bit of hot and cold not hot and cold but like a bit of fire and water energy which is like a bit of friction so some people actually like that they like the i'm not saying drama your drama or people like drama it's not that it's just there's some action there's some uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for it's sparks chemistry there's fire there's passion that's what i'm picking up with water and fire and also you you're someone who might get upset at someone you might say something but then you're like you're quick to apologize also so men would notice about you how you're passionate that you care you know you're not someone who's indifferent you care about people and you care to make things clear also you bring things up just to clear the air and um, also i'm getting very family oriented energy coming through with you with all these ants it's like you're a community sort of a person you do really well in social settings so it's fun to go out with you to connect with other people uh you connect with a lot of different people you're easy to talk to and you're less judgmental you get along with people and you're always open for exciting new things so you could be someone where if a guy comes up to you and they're like hey i like watching this sport will you watch this sport with me you're like i'll watch it you know you're not someone who's just uh focusing on your own hobbies or getting your own needs met you're very open to other people very giving very generous very kind that way we have hope here i don't know why this makes me think of a musical instrument even though i don't think i really don't understand this imagery but i always think of a instrument with this you could be someone who's into i'm actually getting mars and venus energy here very passionate you're someone who's passionate about things and the people in your life you stand up for them you fight for them with hope i think you see the best in people you're someone who uh, is very optimistic about people you always give them a second chance or you'll always look at the brighter side of things that's the energy i'm getting very easy going going with the flow sort of a person and uh, why i was thinking of the musical instrument because i wonder if it's because music is uh, mainly venus but stringed instruments are uh, ruled over by mars so maybe you are into guitar or some stringed instruments that you play or you could be someone who's really into music so you appreciate good music you could have a taste where men kind of feel like they can share music with you because you have similar sort of taste and you're open to listening to new music maybe you don't listen to the everyday uh, you know like pop music you don't listen to that your taste is a bit different and something that men could appreciate about you and i think the because venus qualities are mainly feminine venus and moon and uh, there's kind of a like a indifference there with men and women but i feel like the kind of person that you are and the kind of hobbies you have or the things that you listen to the things you spend your time on those are very compatible with male interests and men could really enjoy your company because of that because they can share their sports with you they can share the music with you they can have conversations with you or you're just open to learning open to new experiences that's what i'm picking up we have gift here so your gift your love language could be giving gifts men could uh, give you gifts a lot i think you're someone when someone gives you a gift you're very kind 
you know you give the best reaction even if you don't like the gift you're so kind you're so happy or you feel very elated you feel special and you make the other person also feel very appreciated they enjoy doing nice things for you so you're very thoughtful also i think uh, it said on the fire and card also thoughtful so you're very thoughtful you pay attention to people and you engage with them you talk to them and when they're saying something you notice and you might uh, get them that same gift that they were talking about you know and gift can also represent a person who's gifted so something about you where you feel make the other person feel very uh, special so you have that special quality about making others feel very special very understood uh, like you hear when they're talking you listen you pay attention you make them feel special so you have this special quality we have seventh house which is the house of relationships i feel like a lot of men could look at you as their perfect partner they feel very balanced out by you you know there's a balance that you bring in um, their life men a lot of men could feel like you're their divine counterpart there's something about you where they want to date you they feel like you complete them there's a bit of friction also there's a bit of you know fights and a bit of like that frenemies vibe you know like uh, friends to any no sorry enemies to lovers that sort of vibe i'm also picking up where there's a bit of fire a bit of arguments bit of heat but also a lot of love yeah i see that um and also you're a very social person i feel like you're very you could also be very extroverted we have uh, ascendant so ascendant coming out with the 7th house so you could have libra ascendant you're someone who's good with so, like i said earlier social uh, things because seventh house is the people of first house is you seventh house is everyone else but you so it's the world essentially all the people outside of you and also it's your relationship so you're someone who does really well in social settings your men could feel like you're the perfect partner to bring around to show their to show to their friends their family you're very impressive that way there's something about you you could also be very good looking your body could be very attractive you dress really well and you present yourself in a really nice way so you're very impressive so uh, men could feel like uh, having you on their arm kind of ups their stock or something along those lines i'm getting but you are very balanced you bring the person into balance they feel a lot of harmony with you and there's also this opposite attract sort of energy that i'm picking up first is you or seventh is directly opposite so men could feel like there's enough differences to keep things interesting but also there's a lot of similarities to kind of spend your time together very easily so that's what i'm picking up so far with libra also libra energy is someone who's very diplomatic so even though you might argue you might fight a little bit here and there but you are someone very balanced and you're very good at being diplomatic that's why you get along with the family and friends really well this is the impression that you give off like you'll get along with everyone you'll make peace with everyone you're easy to talk to and if they're bringing you along you'll like bring a gift or something to impress the family members you just have that energy where you know what to say and what to do and also diplomatic so easy to talk to you know you're not picking up fights and you're easy going you uh, connect with people really well social skills are good with libra uh let's look at this one first we have number 34 the numbers could be significant we have 7 here which is the number ruled by ketu and mountains are also represent by ketu and also for your card you got mountains So again, we have this peak coming up. It came out twice. This is a synchronicity. So I think this is an important message here. What this is talking about? First, let's talk about this card. Then I'll get to the Ketu aspect. Okay. So talking about this card with the, all this colorful imagery, I feel like you bring a lot of colors into people's life. You're very. You could have a really fun personality. I feel like group number two. You're fun. with this emotion cards people definitely feel a connection with you and being you know the gift coming out it's a person of high value and you give hope to people so very optimistic i think you could have strong jupiter also because jupiter is the card or the planet connected with uh, optimism where people feel light people feel happy there's a genuine good feeling that's coming up so you could be someone like that you could also be very mature 
लाइक अ सेड योर अ मच्योर पर्सन विद ऑल दिस लिब्र एनर्जी यू आर समन हुज गुड इन रिलेशनशिप्स मैन लुक एट यू एंड दे फील लाइक दिस इज द परफेक्ट पार्टनर दे सो एंड ऑल्सो आई वॉज पिकिंग अप ऑन फैमिली वैल्यूज राइट I don't know if I spoke about that, but this uh, you could get along with the family really well, or just men could look at you and feel like this is a family, homely sort of a person. You know, I want to settle down with a person like this. We see a couple in this image, and you're also mature, so you could also have gone through some difficult experiences in life. It's like you've elevated because of your hardships that you've gone through, but there's something about you where you're enlightened. You see the bigger picture. You're kind. You're compassionate. You're mature. you're easy to get along with you know and uh, i don't know something about uh, you as the kind of person that you are that is um men could look at you and feel like this is this is a good partner this is a person uh, i would want as a partner because you're just easy to get along with and you're uh, obviously a good person you give good energy how should i keep these so mountain came out twice mountain can talk about first of all a formidable person which is you again special person people take notice of you but also someone who would probably compete with a lot of men men could feel like okay they're in competition with you there's healthy competition you kind of elevate each other there's something about um kind of pushing you to be your best self that's what i'm picking up with the mountain mountain is also um someone who could be a little rigid that people could notice about you you're rigid and you stick to your morals you stick to your principles you don't budge so you're not e uh, you're even though you're diplomatic you would stand your ground on what you believe in so there's something about you where um you're predictable in a good way it's like i don't know it's like they can take a risk on you they can count on you something like that with mountain and also formidable person you're a strong personality you're someone who's gone through some difficult times you're not easily shakeable there's something about you where um perseverance that's the energy i'm picking up so a lot of respect coming through a hard worker um a strong person strong level headed individual and there was something on this uh, card this uh, i read the guidebook it said something about how it's not just about going to the top um because the gems the jewels whatever we find in the mountain lies at the core so you might actually package yourself as this so i don't know like you might get into arguments whatever but on the inside you are this gem which you don't really show to everyone and there's something that's like a different aspect to you this uh, that only the people who are close to you they get to know that and they really cherish you they really admire that quality in you so men could feel like uh initially there's uh, the first impression is not the last impression with you i feel like once they get to know you they are even more impressed by you that's what i'm seeing last up we have medallion this talks about first of all heirlooms so again uh with heirlooms we pass them down to the next generation this is talking about carrying on the baton maybe for some of you you carry on your family's tradition legacy business something about you again being very family oriented that people tend to notice and you're also someone that shines you know there's something about you that is very impressive um protective energy is also what i'm picking up here actually reminds me of uh, jishna nakshatra if you're familiar scorpio uh uh one of the symbols is an amulet it it reminds me of that but anyway high achievers those are also people who are high achievers and very competitive which is what i'm picking up so far very competitive person but heirlooms again going back to someone who's special someone who takes care of the family family oriented someone like husband and wife material that's what i'm picking up so far and gifts again so maybe they give you a lot of gifts men tend to feel like i want to give this person a gift something about showing their um appreciation for you you could be more expressive so you could attract people who don't like to express so they'll show it through their actions or their you know giving you gifts so let's look at the tarot now first one was you got was five of coins this tells me that you're not afraid of being on your own you could also be i think i was speaking up extroverted energy you do really well on social settings but you could also be someone who's an introvert 
or there's this dual side to you that I was picking up that you don't show to everyone on the extrovert side you're nice to everyone but uh, the real self you only show to a few people which they appreciate and you could also be someone who's single you don't date a lot or you've been I don't know something about you you're happy on your own you're very independent independent energy that's what men find um, they really like that about you they notice that that this group number two is very independent. I like that, you know. They're not looking for too much attention from other people. They don't need that stimulation from outside. We have six of wands, so high achiever. Something about you. Uh, good looking, good body, attractive body, attractive personality and high achiever. They expect good things from you. We have eight of cups and there was another one. Yeah, six of Swords, very similar energy with both the cards about you not getting bogged, by, bogged down by challenges. It's like you keep on going, keep on rolling. And I think you're a hard worker. You're also could be someone who's very habitual. You have your habits. You could be someone who's very disciplined also. And you're a hard worker. You're very committed and dedicated to your work with this mountain energy. And certain cards that I was seeing here. It's a person who's, uh, who keeps on going. You don't really let setbacks get to you. And you could be someone who travels a lot. So they might, uh, men could look at you and feel like, oh, this person has very exciting job or they have very exciting lifestyle. Uh, and you're always learning, growing, changing. There's something about you. You're always on the move. Very proactive energy. A lot of life experiences. That's another thing I'm picking up. And you're also not afraid to walk away. That's why men could treat you really, really well. Because they feel like this person will walk away. They're busy. They have a lot going on in their life. They're just, you know, they're a catch. You give off that energy, like I said, husband-wife material, right? Three of wands. We have, I didn't show the close-up. We have eight of coins. Again, someone who's hard worker, dedicated to their work, even uh, if it's painstaking. Everyone else is having fun, but you are working hard. You could be someone also very perfectionist sort of a person, you know, you're very obsessive, very passionate about your work. And again, that competition vibe is coming through where men could feel like, okay, I have to kind of, you know, give them a comp good competition because they're kind of overshadowing me. We have Hierophant, again, getting that uh, energy of commitment coming through. You're very committed. You're loyal. Men could view you as a loyal partner. You'll be committed. You'll be homely. You'll be uh, very family oriented. I'm also picking up this energy of being good, good with kids. And these two came out together. Five of Wands and the World. Which is again giving me that energy of competition. Competing with you. And someone who's successful. Uh, you, you give the energy of where men could look at you and feel like we'll be a power couple together. And also someone where there's a lot of competition a lot of people are interested in you and they're uh, fighting for you trying to get your attention fight for you something like this where they feel like okay let me just back this person or someone else will swoop them up that's the energy i'm picking up so these are some of the qualities that men find beautiful about you group number two i hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with you if it did please let me know in the comments and any other messages you have for me, please leave them in the comments. All the links will be in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello group number three. Welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what do men find beautiful about you. Um, you can always um, change the message according to your own situation. If you're a male watching this reading, you can just assume the message as what do women find attractive about you. Um... Besides, whatever your orientation is, whatever your preferences are, you can change and unwrap the message and the reading to your own um, personal situation. Uh, know that the channel is exclusive. Not exclusive, it's inclusive for every person. So no judgments here. You're all welcome. So I've already pulled the oracle for you and some tarot cards. I'm going to look at these a little bit later on in the reading. So... Let's begin. The interesting thing, I want to mention that uh, these are two different decks and it's the same person who's made the deck. And this is the tarot deck. This is the oracle deck, which is um, basically animals. But in the tarot deck, there's certain cards that do have animals on them, not all of them. 
and as I was uh, shuffling and pulling the cards for this reading sometimes the cards flip over and you notice what has come out I usually don't take a look at all the cards until uh, right before I film the pile so just before I laid I just looked at these cards before hitting record just now but when I'm pulling the cards I don't notice okay so yeah this one card flipped out as I was pulling your cards I thought so the tiger came out I wonder if uh, um, I wonder what uh, tarot card came out for you but I had planned that I'm gonna talk about uh, the tiger card from the tarot deck and when I flipped over the cards I was so shocked to see that uh, you got the tiger this is the only card with tiger in this tarot deck so you got uh, I think uh, tarot deck has 72 or 78 cards but you pull the only one card with this imagery how crazy is that tarot is amazing so anyway I was just so shocked to see both the tigers come up and they're the only single cards with tiger imagery on both the decks so I think this is a very specific message for you group number three coming out today which talks about femininity because in the guidebook it said uh, that tiger comes out to hunt at night time um, why is that well first of all it talks about lunar forces you know the moon is connected to femininity a moon is connected to intuition so the tiger uses its intuition to hunt which is very interesting so i feel like whoever is picking this pile you're very feminine there's something about you uh, where your energy is very um, i don't know very sensual very seductive very uh, beautiful so men are naturally drawn towards you you could be um, you could have um, obviously you could be very beautiful you could have really great looks uh, it's also talking about your body also I feel like with tiger and uh, you you could be someone introverted I feel like because tigers are not pack animals so definitely there's something about you uh, you come across as a person who's a kind of on your own um, a bit introverted a bit shy a bit reclusive you could also be someone who's a bit reserved so you don't really express your emotions all that much but you kind of read the people you observe them you listen but you don't reveal your own cards and we have this fire energy here so fire and water both of them are here you could have a strong intuition people men could feel like a intuitive connection with you and it's like you can read people even without men telling you about their intuition sorry intentions or mentioning certain things it's like you can read them you can read their mind and they feel kind of spooked out by that um, very feminine very beautiful gorgeous energy coming through with this pile and uh, you're also something about you which is very intense a bit um, intimidating with the tiger because tiger is a hunter right it's known for um, being a hunter so it's about just there's something about you where I feel like men could also feel this person is uh, has a lot of options. This person, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are interested in group number three. That's the vibe I'm getting. But you're, you kind of pick the person you want to date. So you're not impressed by every single person. And uh, with the tiger, it's making me think of a cat, how you have to win the cat's affection over. So this is how men could view you. They uh, find you very beautiful, very seductive. You're also very strong personality. Tigers are very strong. Very good looking. And uh, there's some psychic abilities also you have. Something spiritual. It's giving me 12th house placements. Maybe you guys have 12th house placements. Pisces placement. Uh, where you enjoy your own company. You like isolation. You like spirituality. You like esoteric things tarot astrology eighth house things i'm getting that energy with this pile very intuitive so let's look at some of the cards high priestess you know you could be someone who's into spiritual stuff we have messenger this is giving me mercury energy so you could be someone who maybe likes to get to know the person better before you date them you know you form a friendship friendship is, could be very important to you a lot of people could also feel like you're a friend to them you give good guidance you're very mysterious that's also a quality men tend to like in women whether they admit it or not someone who's mysterious someone they cannot read um they like that i think you definitely have that but you could also be 
uh, good with conversation maybe you, you're good at flirting but you're definitely a good friend i feel like men could see a friend in you men could get good advice from you and you give very positive vibes especially when if they're struggling they could reach out to you and uh, you kind of put things into perspective you give some spiritual knowledge and you also have some kind words for people i feel like uh men love talking to you conversation um you could have good conversation skills you can be funny you could be just interesting to talk to unique different we have libra again talking about good looks uh i don't know out of the zodiac signs i do connect libra with aesthetics and uh, good looks and beauty especially i'm drawn towards the eyes i think it's making me think of the way you look at things or the way you look at people there's something you have a unique eye and uh, usually i do connect it with aesthetics someone who has a good eye someone who dresses really well has good sense of fashion um and not just that they also um, decor like do the decor for their house in a really beautiful manner so someone who beautifies not only themselves but the people and the spaces around them that's you you make everything better i think that's also a very feminine quality to have to kind of multiply the beauty around you that's the quality that um women have and also i'm picking up uh, because you have the strong feminine energy a lot of men could feel like they kind of step into their masculine energy because of you so they feel more masculine they become this hunter where they have to kind of hunt you impress you to um get your approval something about them stepping more into their masculine energy because of your feminine energy and i think we just live in a world where i think uh, more people are embracing the feminine side especially women because things were kind of taking a turn but i feel like there's more appreciation for femininity lately especially in fashion also so i feel like men could also become more open to this energy because it seems a bit more traditional or outdated uh women usually like to act more masculine you know in our times so but you you're different you're more feminine and we have saturn saturn gets exalted no it gets yeah i think it gets exalted in libra but also gets directional strength in libra why is that because in libra you cannot sun gets debilitated sun is our self sun is our ego so you kind of have to let the ego go in a relationship libra is seventh house relationships and saturn is connected with service so serving people being not exactly a servant but serving the other person that this is why saturn does really well in libra because saturn is all about giving 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 working hard being committed dedicated and not really looking for anything in return even though i'm not saying that's a i'm not putting it in a negative light i'm just saying that saturn is connected with hard work you know and giving and uh being of service whereas sun is more about me 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 saturn is about you which is the seventh house so i feel like you're someone who takes care of the people around you you're someone that men could look at as a person who will really take care of them they can take care of you uh i'm also getting protective energy with this uh, tiger hunter coming out it's like maybe men could feel like they want to protect you and you're just very giving you come across as a perfect partner in their eyes i think this is a similar sort of message came out on all the three piles but with different cards but what i'm picking up is they want to be a partner to you they want to serve you they want to you know show up for you treat you well and uh, i don't know spend time with you quality time i'm getting some of you could have a lot of admirers at work you could also maybe meet your partner through work you're a hard worker you're also very sincere very mature diplomatic these are some qualities men could admire in you that you're easy going you're diplomatic you don't make a big fuss out of things and um, they also kind of assume that you'll be a good partner to them you'll take care of them in a good way not in a bad way you know not like to make you subservient to them that's not what i'm saying we have number 1 uh, abundance so uh, men could see you as being very abundant doing really well in your life but also like if they if you were to come into their life they would become blessed they would become abundant and there's something about your energy wherever you go you treat people really nice you take care of them you take care of their needs there's something about giving very generous energy coming through 
and also lucky vibes with you so they could feel like if i get this person i'm gonna be the luckiest person ever and i'm gonna just be on top of the world that's what i'm getting so should i keep these let's okay this is the card you chose we have uh, the self and we have the empty room uh, the energies are very interesting with both the cards. I feel like with the self, it's talking about how you have all these different shades to you. You could be someone who's uh, slightly moody also, I feel like. With all this moon energy, you could be also very, very fun to travel with. You like excitement. You like going to different places. Uh, maybe a foodie, trying new foods. So uh, men could really like that about you. How you're, I don't know, open to going out, exploring things, exploring new experiences traveling eating you could have good taste in food also and you just have all these different shades it's like every day you're like a different person you you're very unique very different multi-talented and um, i think you have a lot of different shades because strong moon can make a person moody so one day you're in your explore you want to explore you want to go out have different experience one day you're more, more in a comical mood you you know you're just pulling the other person's leg you're having fun and the next day you're more in the work work mode and you're more serious other days you're more creative with the libra so you have all these different sides you keep things interesting you keep things fun they like that about you with the self in empty room it can talk about a person who could be into spirituality also maybe you meditate you have a strong intuition to begin with you could be really into spiritual stuff like i said tarot you already are watching tarot readings you have a strong um, psychic sense also so you could be someone who's into these things and they like that about you there's something about self-study self-discovery higher knowledge that is coming through with you empty room represents potential so men could look at you and think you have a lot of potential you have a lot of big ideas you're very intelligent you have a lot of wisdom you're very kind you're good with people you have good social skills you communicate really well and you're already abundant but you're also attracting a lot of abundance in your life so you have a lot of potential and you're also very self-focused someone who's always working on themselves you know you're not clingy you're not obsessive you're not focusing too much on your partner even though they're there you take good care of them but you're also your own person focused on yourself your self-growth leveling up and uh, you could have a lot of skills, a lot of hobbies, a lot of different interests. So, I don't know, very uh, intelligent person. A lot of hobbies, a lot of different shades to your personality. And there's, uh, when they talk to you, they feel like, wow, there's every day there's something new with this person. And they see the potential in you. With the empty room, um, they also maybe see a chance to kind of grow something with you in the future. Men. That's what I see. Let's look at the tarot. I feel kind of out of breath. This is my third pile of the day. So oh, please don't mind guys. We have the star. So again you have star quality. You know all this. Uh, and also it's again an uh, image of night time. So high intuition again. A lot of men could look at you and feel like you're out of um, uh, their reach. Because star represents distance. Right. There's a distance between you the person the men and you group number three so men could look at you and kind of manifest you into their life they also feel this nurturing bond bond with you you could be someone who's really you care about animals they like that about you how you get along with animals and children but you're also kind and you have big dreams big goals and you're good with manifestation but also men trying to manifest you into their life they feel like you're just too bright too big of a star for them to kind of obtain you or to connect with you so there's this star power coming through very attractive so some men could actually feel like this person's too good for me they will never you know even look in my direction something about you where you're just out of reach we have wheel of fortune again very abundant good energy this is the same energy as the abundance card this is jupiter divine timing so some of the men could actually look at you and feel like once i level up once i become on the level that group number three is at i'm gonna date them so some of them trying to manifest you some of them could also look at you doing really well in your life very abundant very happy good energy 
you could be like a guide to other people i think most people just like having you around in their life they really enjoy and cherish your connection and uh, the space that you occupy in their life that's what i see we have page of wands so a person who's adventurous who likes new experiences i was picking that up with the moon i was talking about that exciting fun good energy and light hearted you are even though you're into spiritual stuff and you're a bit mysterious you you don't make things heavy even with the saturn coming through your fun we have king of wands so good looking men are attracted to you again we see a lot of colors here and also very um, self sufficient independent energy someone who's good on their own good looking you create an impression people definitely notice you with peacock and you could have a lot of admirers very good looking especially your body your aesthetics your clothes uh, people take notice of you for sure we have nine of wands so this is the card i was picking up that energy there was one more card i think was it this one seven of wands which first of all talks about the body of course we see a person with really good body so you could have that as well you could be someone maybe you go to the gym or whatever but you look really nice men find you attractive but also wanting to fight for you um i'm also getting this energy that you're a little bit you might play a little bit hard to get people cannot read you men cannot read you they don't really know your intentions so they feel like i really want to impress this person are they into me are they not into me a lot of people might not approach you because of this but there's this desire to fight for you to kind of impress you and also to kind of protect you this was the i think was the other card yeah there was the star right we see this person holding the animal here we see the girl holding a doll so it's just that energy of uh, wanting to protect you you're just so innocent pure there's something about your energy which is very kind sweet lovely you're very motherly also nature with this moon energy that was coming through uh something about you that feels like family to men and they feel like i need to protect this person uh, i cannot be rude to them i don't want to hurt their feelings that's the energy i'm getting and finally we have six of wands seven of coins this came, this card came out for all the three piles today which is interesting it's like men like getting attention from you and they also see that you get a lot of attention there's something about you where they are impressed by you and you could be doing really well in your career we see this fire which represents purification also a person who's uh transforming changing glowing up uh spiritual awakening all that energy is there they notice you and they see major changing changes happening to you they feel like this person is going to make it big there's a lot of abundance in group number 3's future they see that and you're also hard working focused hard at work and i was getting all this energy of uh, self focused energy not self centered self focused so a person who's leveling up a person who's busy doing stuff making things happen so they feel like i don't want to miss out on this person i want to get them i want to be a part of their life i want to be around them you know all of that i'm picking up here with fire it can also talk about just this altar can talk about marriage in my tradition we have that uh, ceremony when we get married so some of you there's a desire to settle down with you i'm also getting this energy of uh, meeting halfway uh, balancing each other out so opposite attracts that energy is also there and just being around you to kind of get your blessings or be in this energy of blessings to make something happen with you maybe some men look at you and they feel like i want to be partner up with them like uh for like some business opportunities also i want to study with this person i want to learn from them i want to know their secrets i want to get into, get into spirituality something like this collaborating i'm getting that and what else they look at you as a hard worker with the seven of coins and also uh, maybe a connection they want to invest in more that's what i see for you group number 3 let me know if this reading resonated i hope someone found it helpful please leave your comments in the feedback um in the comment section if you have any video requests you can leave those as well all the links will be in the description if you want to book a private reading with me thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye